are back up recording let me get the old edit screen off all right we are continuing straight on this might be hemmed with the last video it might not be um probably won't be because the other one's quite long actually it's about 40 minutes or something so continuing going through the masonic media let's decode and see what we get as usual hmm, look race war 48 look immediately here we have old school comedian well known in the uk called harry enfield yeah i remember watching him grow up growing up loads of money and all that <laughs> i remember he, he did used to give me joke i'm not gonna lie he had some fucking jokes going on at them times i'm not gonna lie And I am somebody that I'm not saying that, you know, I can't, I, obviously I can easily find, you know, things that I will find comedy about my own race, being, you know, black or whatever creed I happen to be. Do you know what I mean? You know? You've got to have a laugh. But, <laughs> as I say, it's a perspective thing, so. To be fair, each did their own. But like, when you understand the sick nature and design with a lot of things, as I say, look, I'm not saying he's a Freemason or such or anything. You know, he's just, you know, likes to be a comedian. But then maybe little does he know the timing that it came out, uh, uh, the length of the skits that he done. You know what I mean? He don't realise why it's, you know what I mean? Got these timings and why it was put out with those dates, you know, from the date duration from his birthday to the release of the thing going on with another event that was going on with Rodney King or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah? I'm not saying whether he knows or don't know. But where it gets sick, as I'm saying, is when you understand the craft behind your reality and how it's rolled out to you. Yeah? And that's what I was going to say before. We all get at a crossroads. That's what I forgot. <laughs> when I had the brain fart on the last video, I was about to go into about the crossroads thing. And it shouldn't take long. You know, it's a, what is it? Objective. You know what I mean? It's an objective thing. Something that we can all see and we all share the same thing at the same time. Now, when you get on this crossroad, it shouldn't take that much. Where's my logo gone? What? When I press it again and it comes back up, where's my logo, man? Oh my God, it's playing another video. Do you know what? Hey, it's come back up now. <laughs> what the hell? All right. You good? Uh, did it stop recording? Oh my god, it is recording. Make your mind up. So slow since their stupid update. Sometimes it's totally fine. It's been fine up until now. But now it's been a bit sluggish. And Great timing as well. Just when I got past the, mem uh, the um, memory fart, the brain fart. <laughs> oh man. But anyway, that crossroads that, I, that I've been mentioning recently, you know, get potty trained. Otherwise, you know, you go around making everywhere shitty and you don't realize what you're doing, making it shitty for everybody and yourself. We all got to that crossroad of being potty trained. Same shit. So, Race War 48, Black Lives Matter 56, come on, man. And then the Reflection 65, George Floyd 65, you got the 156 anyway, 156 Prime is 9-11, George Floyd 119, and the rest of the 119s, I'm not even going to go into it right now, if you've been following it, fantastic. <laughs> Just save me sidebar in the same mode, same mode. And, and at the same time, it's better for, if you're new, to go through the videos, understand the, understand the practice for yourself, 
and as quick as you can if anything if you've got the time and you can you know it's very easy to understand do it yourself do you know what i mean check the dates yourself the same dates that you saw on i show zach show this one show whoever check it yourself and before you know it you will see it because it will embed you know what i mean you get more used to the pattern as i say each may do it different regardless if you've got time or not to do it some people like to hear uh, other people you know or read the work on the blog or whatever gamantraeffect.news etc and they take it in that way each to their own that's all good so in the deep end right in the deep end or oh, in, in, in the deep end Harry Enfield Harold Enfield has defended the use of blackface in comedy and admitted he once played Nelson Mandela for laughs. Oh, God. What? Oh, yes, there. Looking for something in the background here. There's a bit coming up. I'm just waiting for it. I'm just quickly... Highlight reading quickly, just quickly going over it. Something else should be coming up there. Should, should be some, uh, should be some Gamancha bits coming up. Look, you got Lee Francis, Keith Lemon, well-known comedian over here in the UK as well. He's chiming in. Again, feel free to go for my Carolyn Flack stuff if you haven't already. For more Keith Lemon, just you know, so then you can see he's, you know, does he know what's going on? Is he a sound guy? Does he just want to keep his TV show so he just has to be instrumental in the fuckery and the mind schism and the spell? Of course, we've got another show, Little Britain. They say it's been removed from Netflix, Britbox and BBC iPlayer. Also, Ant and Deck TV presenters apologised on Wednesday for using blackface during a segment of Saturday Night Takeaway. We've got another statue there, Robert Milligan, removed in London. From Masonry 58, Secret Society, Tetragrammaton, on. they like to play God of you, right? Tetragrammaton, on, the old name for God. <laughs> Biblical 58, Rosicrucian. And yeah, all their fucking orders anyway. One of their orders. <laughs> Imagine, blackface, <laughs> blackface equals 26, riot equals 26. Come on, man. Just mentioned God. Tetragramma on 58, God 26. If you're new here, just watch my last video. I mentioned some 26s there. As I say, I've been trying to get these videos out <laughs> for so long now. Reiterating, reiterating, losing about 20 videos. Anyway, remember the police officer with George Floyd was 44, kill 44, execution 44. Also, George Floyd was 46 years old. 46 prime is 199. Hmm. Also, remember in Genesis 4, 6, it begins with a sacrifice. Again, sacrifice equals 46 and 55. Blackface 55 anyway. Mm. Mm. Right. Black faces 27 36 63 207. Unbelievable. Racism 27 36. Race 27. Black faces 27. Racism 27. Racism 99, remember the cop strangling Eric Garner, for those new, he was wearing the number 99. Racism 99. Asphy uh, asphyxiation 62, Eric Garner 62. He got choked out, right? Strangled out. And of course the 99s have been following heavily with the latest madness of George Floyd. The orchestrated madness, mind. Again, if you're new, check out the videos and you will get an abundant, <laughs> you will get a good list of 99s and 119s, 56s and 65s. 
And 63s. And 45s. Alright. Oh, I should have wrote defend. The head was asked to defend blackface at the same time. BBC is removing shows. What up, what up? What up? This is somebody's tweet from Molly Goodfellow saying Harry Enfield was even asked to defend blackface on BBC Radio 4. At the same time, BBC. Yeah, at the same time, the same BBC is removing shows that that feature it. Shows something is broken. <laughs> Definitely. Unbelievable. Uses racial stuff. I think I've done like a mantra of that. He's currently age 59. <laughs> Harry, uh, Henry Enfield. That's his actual name. Stage name Harry. Harry Enfield, 71. Blackface, 199. Harry Enfield, 199. Civil rights, 64. And all the madness that where you get the Civil Rights Acts from, that happened in 1964. Civil Rights equals 64 and 71. Again, Harry Enfield, 71 and 199. Blackface, 199. Unbelievable. <laughs> Salima, 64 and 125 as well. Of course, Alistair Crowley. Unbelievable. Again, the, th the Thelemic practices run through all your media, education, all your news, etc. Also, Q64. Again, Civil Rights, 71. Harry Enfield, 71. 64. Unbelievable. It's a spiritual war, man. Mentally, physically. What was the time at the beginning? Unbelievable. Remember when I said race war because at the time it was 48 minutes past and they played on his name and they, you know, EN, Enfield, End the Deep End. Unbelievable. Equals 48. And they give you 48 minutes. <laughs> race war 48. Unbelievable. I made a mistake with that. For some reason, I had in my mind uh, March 30th. Duh, it wasn't. Don't worry about that. Racial slur. <laughs> Racial slur is 156. What was the update time? The post time was 58, 48 minutes past. Remember, race war and then they um, uh, end, uh, end the deep end. The play on words, 48. And the same cipher, race war. The update time was what? <laughs> 156. Racial slur, 156. Unbelievable. And 42. <laughs> and 42. <laughs> Yo. Yo, these people are out of order on the next level, man. And all those that aid it and are instrumental in, you know, helping the craft. This is just insanity. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, look, and then they updated it. <laughs> they updated it. Uh, to f so they updated it from uh, 156 to 1408. Nigger equals 148. And remember, racial slur was 42. Nigger equals 42. Slavery 42. Again, Black History Month in February. The only month that equals the 42 in any cipher is February. And the amount of words and derogatory terms and other stuff, you know, from sports, from black people in sports. Listen, unbelievable. And TV shows. Wow. Again, if you're new, just go through Black History Month 2020 playlist. You should find it on this channel or my main channel. Or wherever one you're watching it on first. You should find it. 
N word equals 29. Black is 29. What's his name died on the 25th? Time death RIP 25. N word equals 25. 74. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that should be pretty self explanatory by now. If you're new here, just, just keep going through the videos. You'll understand how powerful 47 and 74 is when you understand the practice just a little bit more. Now, uh, Harry Enfield is born in 1961. Interesting. N word equals 61. Again, obey. Mind control equals 61. Toilet paper equals 61. <laughs> Real that toilet. Oh, we had all the uh, coronavirus toilet paper pandemic <laughs> going on via the plandemic. You know, the plandemic. Fuck you now. It's just amazing how easy it is to control so many people at one time. Wow, amazing. So easy. I mean, that should be pretty self-explanatory in the end there. Uh, the time, the time length. <laughs> so speaking of BBC4 radios, uh, Radio 4's Today programme, the comedian, Harry Enfield, used the slur, coon, yeah? That was the, 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 uh, the term that he used. Let's see what that equates to. What time we got here? <laughs> Yo, when is he born? And they're talking about his racial slur, yeah? Harry Enfield. Coon equals 61. <laughs> oh, shit. Coon equals 61. Go figure. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my God, get the flying fuck out of here. Coon equals 61. Unbelievable. You see how this shit just solidifies itself over and over and over again effortlessly. Why? Because this is the fucking system, yeah, that's been erected. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fucking brilliant, that. Again, I didn't even know that was coming up. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I forgot that was coming up. As I say, you know, I, I prep this. I prep what I'm going to obviously, you know, record. And I'm just prepping it just to... No, well, I'm keeping it for myself anyway. But obviously, I think, fuck it. Obviously, I'm going to do a record. But, you know, a lot of where some of these slides are going to go... I don't always remember where it's gonna go. So please take that into consideration. So no, a lot of this is real time surprise. Like, oh shit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Coon equals 61. Harry Enfield's born in 61. Unbelievable. You see the 47 there as well. <laughs> Yo, allow me. Just. Unbelievable. And what was it? Was it N word that was 61? Let me just quickly go back here. Yeah, N word was 61 and he's born in 61. And that's when I started talking about the coronavirus stuff. All right, how long this has been going? <gasps> oh, please don't mess me up. It's going a bit slouchy. I might even cut the video. I don't want to lose it. Hella annoying. So if you do it how they did it, did it in the paper with the, they took out the two O's, of course, for Coon. 37, right? Equals 37, you see that there? The 12th prime is 37. From his birthday, 30th of May, Harry Enfield, to this being in the news on June 11th. 12 days, the 12th prime <laughs> is 37. Go figure. Unbelievable. And then June <laughs> 11th has a numerology of 37 anyway. Perfect. And a life lesson of 21. 12th round 37, 21st 73. That's why, uh, what's his name? Sheldon in Big Bang Theory loves that relationship, prime relationship with the 12th and 21st prime. He says it's the perfect number or something. Perfect relationship with maths. Because he understands the Saturn and occult knowledge. Clearly. Coon 17. Bear with me here. 
17. Oh, he's 59 years old. Of course, he just turned 59 as well. Perfect. Unbelievable. And I remember, you know, that History Month ends on the 59th day of the year. Negro slavery, 59. Again, if you're new here, go back to my last video and you get some more dub plates on that. And again, just go through the Black History Month 2020 playlist <laughs> and you will get a slew, myriads of information from, you know, again, different channels and myself. Right. I'm going to cut this for the next video. And you don't want to miss it. The next one, of course, is going to be Stormzy. <laughs> Yo, when I saw this last night, I said, no way. <laughs> so hold tight for that again. Spread love and light. Hashtag don't be a basic bee sprainer. And of course, give gracious gratitude, but take no shit.